Hey guys, it's Frank and Kevin from Cruising with Wheels. Welcome to Q&A number 40. So we're back for more Q&As, great questions that you guys sent to us. And before we get started, we want to remind you all to make sure you are subscribed. Do you know what's been going on in YouTube lately? On YouTube? YouTube? YouTube. 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 Is that why we're not getting all the <laughs> subscribers we want? Because we're on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> we no. are having an issue with subscribers, as many channels are, uh, where people are getting unsubscribed yeah. automatically by these bots that are out there. So we want you to make sure that you are subscribed. And if you're not, it's very simple. Just hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you can get notifications of when our videos go live. It's easy and free. Doesn't cost you a cent. <laughs> Just cost you five seconds with your little finger. Let's jump right into yep. the questions, okay. shall we? Who's first? The first, the first one comes from Jennifer. She says, my wife and I are not heterophobic and want to take our toddler on a Disney cruise next year. We've experienced some anti-gay comments before at dinner time, but we want to expose our son to an experience with a lot of people. Can we request a table of other gay families to eat with? Well, first I would say, <laughs> I don't think the cruise line has a special list of, of LGBTQ families uh, that you can, you know, download. Um, but, you know, if, you're, if you want to expose your kid to other people, other cultures, you know, backgrounds, I say continue to do that. If indeed you do run into something that's uncomfortable, by all means, get the restaurant manager and request to be moved. That's, it's no big deal. We, we've run into anti-gay uh, passengers on cruises. Uh, we've run into um, uh, other cruisers that were sitting right next to at dinner that are so crazy, loud, and out of control. We have, we need to be moved. So, you know, do not fear. Uh, just go forward with what you're used to doing. I say make it a teachable moment. Yeah. Our next question comes from Cheryl. Can I bring my single serve? Keurig machine with me on our cruise. Uh, something I cannot live without. You're going to have to live without it. <laughs> it's a heat appliance and it is not allowed. No. Go, to, go to your cruise line's website and check out <clears throat> prohibitive, uh, prohibitive items, uh, uh, things that are not allowed to bring on board, and you'll get a sense of all the, the no-nos. Uh, where's the next question come from? The next one is from Tanya. Tanya says, I'm booked on a cruise for January 2022. I'm on Facebook and always see postings about cruise roll calls. What is a cruise roll call? Well, what's a cruise roll call? You know what it is? Well, I don't know if I know how to explain it properly. I don't know how to explain it properly uh, either. But it's a, it's, a, it's a forum on social media, Facebook, obviously. And it's uh, someone has created this row call, which is a group, a thread, for that particular sailing. And again, so if you see things on Facebook that says, you know, has anyone done a row call uh, for uh, NCL Gem um, January 13th, you know, 2022, uh, uh, we, you've, do you created a row call, didn't I you? I created a row call, yeah. but I don't do row calls on Facebook. On Facebook. Uh, roll calls started with Cruise Critic. Mm. So, so people create these groups so that they can communicate with the other passengers that are going to be on that particular ship on that particular week. And so, you know, if you're not sailing for another six months to a year, you're actually on Facebook communicating with all the people you're going to see. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Alicia um, reached out to us and said, first cruise coming up in February of 2022. Uh, and uh, when the ship docks at the port, are we required to get off the ship? We get is, this question a lot. Yeah, is in the doors open, 
Everybody off. <laughs> the door's closed. <laughs> the simple answer is no. Uh, you're not required to get off the ship. Uh, in fact, we've spent a lot of time. Our best times yeah. have been when everybody's off the ship. Yeah. But I don't want to tell too many people that because then a lot of people <laughs> right. will stay. Well, you know, like if you get to, like we've been to San Juan, Puerto Rico so <clears throat> many times. And you're like, you know. If you don't have an We've done everything. Right, and if you don't have an excursion planned, uh, so let's say, like we didn't uh, the last time, and you're like, do you want to get off? And we're like, not really. So we didn't get off. This ship is nice and quiet, you know? And it's nice to be able to tool around the ship and have a quiet lunch in the restaurant and get on and off the elevators without the hustle and bustle and the... Eat lots of ice cream. Yeah, at your leisure, no lines, nobody, massive amount of people queuing up. So, <laughs> yeah, doors are always open. You go out to port, you've done an hour or two, come back on the ship, have lunch, free lunch in the buffet or dining or whatever, and you know what, after lunch, go back to the island. On and off, on and off. Doors are never closed. <laughs> the next question comes from Michael. What's Michael What does say? Michael say? Uh, my girlfriend thinks she's Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Boarding the love boat. Posing for the paparazzi. She plans on being decked out in her six-inch heels in a nightclub party outfit on embarkation day. I'm trying to tell her it's a bad idea. <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, gosh. I say let her do it. I mean, if that... Let her do it. Let her twist her ankle and let her... I always... You know, Michael, I know you're trying to tell her that, you know, embarkation She'll day learn. and disembarkation day are probably the most active, hardest days to get through with lots of people coming and going, luggage on, luggage off, hustle and bustle. Comfort is everything. But as I say... If that's her shtick, that's her shtick. I don't know. I, I say let her go. I, yeah, I hope right. she breaks the heel. <laughs> no, no. Oh, not in her favorite shoes. Oh, that's oh, crazy. That's crazy. <clears throat> the next question comes from Angel. And he or she writes, oh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, is room service fees on the cruise? Room, is room service free? Oh, is room, room service, service free, free on yeah. the cruise? It would be one of your well, it could be, yes and no. Is, is there room service fees on the cruise? Is there a fee cruise? or is it free? Mm -hmm. Free or fee. It depends on the cruise line. Right. That's a, that's a definite yes and no answer. And some cruise lines, some cruise lines, it's free from certain hours. Right. Or from a certain menu. Right. Uh, like NCL, for example. NCL, it's free uh, for certain items from yeah. such a time to such a time, and then after that, you have to pay. Right. Or if you want items from the other side of the menu, yeah. you have to pay. Like if you don't, like maybe coffee and Danish, free, but if you want a hot meal, a hot sandwich, a hot breakfast, that may cost you. Or a cocktail. Right. Like if you're like some of our subscribers that order Right, cocktail right, room right, service right. and you know who you are right 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 uh chances are you're paying for right. that even if you have a free drink package right or, or it's 3 a.m in the morning and you're 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 chomping at the bit for a sandwich 3 a.m delivery on room service might be a fee so it depends on the cruise line depends on maybe the menu selection and depends on the time and remember just because it's free doesn't mean it's free because you <laughs> should tip Yes. 3 a.m. delivery? You better be tipping. What's Natalie telling us? Uh, Natalie, do I have to... Do I have to buy the internet oh. package to use the ship's app uh, on uh, board? Oh, 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 okay. Well, do you? I don't think so. That would be a no? That would be a no. Okay. That, <laughs> would, be, that would be a no because there generally is two ships internet. One is uh. free and one is not. Um, however, just because you're on the free internet on the ship doesn't mean that you can get access to the internet because usually it only gives you access to the app. Mm. And, and those else? apps are very important yeah. right now. And anything else other than that will be money, money, money. money. money, money. Or maybe they got a free internet package. Mm -hmm. That would be cool. NCL was offering right. that. Actually, a bunch of the... 
cruise lines have yeah. been offering that lately. It's a big deal to cruisers <clears throat> to be able to have access. And I know that they want extra money, but yeah. I feel like how much is it really costing them? I know, seriously. To just give it Push to us button. for free. Come on. Push a button. <laughs> and I think internet should be free. Don't you think internet I do. should be free? I really do. Um, there are countries where the internet is free um, for their citizens. Yeah, I, I really do. I really do think so. All of this, these charges for internet, cable, and this and that. Basic Something necessities. like Basic uh, necessities. <laughs> right. Basic, well, think about it. Like um, gas and electric. Right. It's a basic necessity. Right. Water. That's a basic necessity. Why do we got to pay for it? Wow, we get nickel and dime to death. No wonder people are living in Crazy. poverty. Can't afford it. All right. Off of soapbox. Next is from Kathy. My young kids are picky eaters. Mm. I don't think they're going to eat the main dining room food. What foods do they have on board that they may like? <laughs> okay, well, that's hard to say because we don't know your kids. In, in growing up in my house and even in this house, whatever is cooked is what you eat. Right. And if you don't eat it, then you don't, you eat. don't like it, you don't eat it, then you don't eat. Uh, nobody's cooking 10 meals. There's always <laughs> peanut butter and jelly in our house. <laughs> right, right. Uh, maybe tomorrow there will be a food that you will like. But, you know, there are kids' meal. Most of the cruise lines menus. Have, I'm sorry, have a kid's menu uh, to choose from, which is mostly hot dogs, hamburgers, chicken nuggets, mac and cheese, or pizza. pizza you know, but ice it, cream bars. Right, but again, maybe your kids don't like that. I don't know how picky they are. I was a steak so you I know, was a you um, know I ate adult food when I was yeah. a child. Uh, again, the free uh, the free restaurant venues are your friend because they're free and so they have a menu. So if your child orders something and don't eat it, no harm, no foul. It's not like you're at a specialty restaurant. You'll um, also stay away have, from that. You'll also have two sides of the menu. So first of all. Nine times out of ten, you have to ask for the kids' yeah. menu because they don't have it published yeah. in their um, menu itself. Because one side will be everyday classics, which, you know, could be um, fried chicken, right? spaghetti meatballs, some beef, uh, yeah. meatloaf, right. you know, and... I'm, I'm, you know, it's not going to be the same right. on every cruise right. line or whatever. But and then those the other are some side examples. are the specials, and the other are those are their dailies yeah. that they just do for that particular so day. So I say show your kids all the menus, and again, no harm, no foul. You know, the restaurant is uh, main dining room is free. Pick a venue that's free, uh, and uh, I remember they don't like it. They don't like it. Connor was a nightmare. <laughs> uh, Connor and Owen would only eat hot dogs. And chicken nuggets. There you go. That's all they would eat, and they were pandered to. Oh, yeah. We didn't pander to, uh, didn't pander to my kids. It was no. a rude awakening. Yeah. Uh, and the other kids, they didn't pander to them, and they, and they ate, ate everything. Right. Once you start pandering, uh, they think that the kitchen is a restaurant, and no, uh, that you're going to cook. This kid gets this food, and that kid gets that food. It's like, no, this is what we're making. You either like it, you eat it, you don't, you don't eat. Sorry. Uh, Kevin's attitude is, you know, leave your kids at home. <laughs> there you go. That would be his answer. <laughs> Earl reached out to us on Instagram, which is a perfect segue into we are on Facebook. Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And you can reach us at any of those social, uh, media. social medias yeah. to ask us a question or give us an idea for a video. Uh, they can also email us. At our brand new email address at cruisingwithwheels at gmail.com. But Earl from Instagram wrote, booked an Alaskan cruise on Holland America for September. So congratulations. Mm -hmm. But as of yet, they have not assigned suite numbers. Hmm. hmm. Uh, anyone know the reason? I was told we would not have an assigned number until two weeks before the cruise. Mm. Do you know why? Yes. Do you know why? I know why. Go ahead. I know why, too. So you go I ahead. I know. You told me why. You go ahead. You tell them. <laughs> you tell them what you learned. <laughs> Probably you selected a guaranteed rate. Mm -hmm. What is a guaranteed rate? A guaranteed rate is... Uh, the lowest possible price for that particular room, 
uh, type. So within cruising, there is room types, which would be inside, ocean view, balcony, uh, suite, so on and so forth. Right. And then there's categories. And the category of each room type um, delineates where it's located. So forward, mid, or aft. Deck levels? Uh, deck levels. So you could have like an inside cabin on deck five. That'll be a category, so let's say IA. And then you could have an inside on deck 11. And that would might be a category, you know, IZ. <laughs> Well, I don't whatever. know, whatever they delineate it as. Uh, and that would be a more favorable right. location, maybe, because right. it might be near the Lido or the right. pool. Right, location, location, location. Therefore, it would be more expensive. Mm -hmm. Right. So if you did not pick the specific room number, um, which would tell you exactly what, ca what cabin type and what category it's in, then you get a bargain and the reason you get a bargain is because you get what you get you get what you get you get what's <laughs> left over so uh now is probably a great time to do that too because they're not booking as many rooms so you might um this is a great way to get an upgrade for free because you might book an inside cabin and end up with a suite right so you yeah. might uh but you have to be happy with what guarantee you right, booked right. because you might end up with exactly that. You, exactly what you booked, that minimal right. dry cabin. But you know if they are all out of those, you could end up in a balcony. You could end up in a mini suite. You don't know. Mm -hmm. And so it's a kind of a, like not a, somewhat a double-edged store, but it could benefit you. It could. But don't be angry if what you booked is what you get. That's <laughs> right. Uh, the next question comes from Patty. Can I bring my own food on board with me? Oh. Why? Well, I do. You all know I do. But, yes, you can. But it has to be... Like she can bring groceries? No. Well, you're not going to show up with your grocery bags. Uh, say, oh, I all brought my fresh lettuce and, and my, toma my tomatoes from my garden. It's like, no. No. Fruits, vegetables, things like that. No. You cannot bring on board. Uh, even in port, uh, bringing fruits and vegetables and things uh, on the sh back on the ship is a no-no. Uh, only pre packaged food and I always bring pre-packaged snacks boxes of candy um, oh yeah we gotta have our candy uh, I don't consider pre candy food though, yeah, I know food. you don't <laughs> pre-packaged uh, snack bars something to get you through your travels first day travel last day travel, or even just you know uh, I'm so in the room taking pre -packaged a nap pre-packaged is key yeah pre-packaged that's it that's all you're allowed to bring on board uh, they'll be checking, and you can't have uh, a Tupperware container of your favorite soup. <laughs> I mean, it's just, no, not happening, so, no, no. <laughs> we want to ask all of you out there that are watching to make sure you send us a Super Cruiser picture. It's featured at the end of, one, it will be featured at the end of this video, because it's a Thursday right, video. Right, it is. Uh, and um, we're always want to see your pictures so send us to cruising with wheels at gmail.com and we will feature you at the end of a regular thursday video thanks for joining us today for another great q a and we'll see you next time right we want to remind you to always travel safe and cruise often